Hi guys, it's Rio. If you don't know me, I'm a beauty writer at The Strategist. I'm here today with the new segment, What's the Actual Difference? Where we compare two products and let you know what the actual difference is between them. Today, we'll be comparing the iconic, beloved MAC Ruby Woo. This is definitely a cult favorite. MAC claims that four tubes of it are sold every minute. And this is the new Fenty Stunna Lip Paint from the Queen Herself's brand. So the Fenty team claims that it won't budge. It behaves so you don't have to. So right off the bat, you can tell this is like a thick doe foot applicator. Okay, let's see how I do. So something I'm right off the bat being able to tell is that it's kind of hard to apply. <laughs> I really like the color. But unless you have a super steady hand, this might be a little tricky for you. Despite having a lot of trouble during the application, I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. So I just cleaned up the edges of the lipstick a little bit using a cotton pad and some Bioderma just to give it a little bit cleaner of an effect. And it looks pretty good. Rihanna says why this lipstick is so amazing is that it can withstand anything. It says you can make out in it, but I'm just gonna eat something. Okay, so I'm gonna try this loaf cake. Honestly, I tried to press my lips into this as much as possible. Pretty good. So now we're gonna see how it does when we drink something. Okay, it's not budging. Pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed. This is supposed to last 12 hours. I've only had it on for about 25 minutes, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna take this off and then we're gonna throw on Ruby Woo and we're gonna see how it fares. So this is the MAC Ruby Woo. It is another matte finish, but it's in the classic lipstick form. A lot of my friends that are big lipstick wearers swear by this lipstick, so let's get into it. So in an interesting turn of events, I'm struggling putting this lipstick on more than I thought I would. So what I always really like with regular lipsticks is that instead of getting like a super, super precise, I like to make it kind of like just blot in first. And then I correct afterwards. I'm a disaster. So my first impression is that I feel like the shade of the Fenty color is a little bit more forgiving and a little bit easier to wear. And this is very bright. Another thing to take into consideration is that I've recently gone blonde. So I'm still navigating what kinds of shades of what kinds of colors I prefer with my new hair. So I am going to get back into this. I would say this also stays on pretty well. I see a little bit of movement on my lipstick, definitely more than Fenty, but I wouldn't say it's dramatically worse. A good way to gauge how much has come off. So this is from Fenty, my bite, and this is from Max Ruby Woo. So you can see that there is more coming off. One last thing, I'm gonna take a sip of water. It's not too bad, but again, look, this can. Evidence. If you're into getting that kind of like soft, blurred, lined lipstick look, which can be nice when you want to wear a bright red lip, but you don't want to have the harsh lines because it can look kind of intense and jarring, I would probably recommend just going in with Max Ruby Woo. However, if you like that really, really precise red lip glam, 
I would definitely recommend Fenty Stun Lip. And also, as far as a dinner party goes, this definitely fared better with food. That's the tea on that. And thank you, Rihanna, for making a wonderful product that is competing against a real cult classic. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you saw. And I'll see you guys next time on What's the Actual Difference?